All right, everybody. It is uh, Brian and Lance and Craig show. What a what a crew we got here today. I'll say. Vinny's off watching football. I'd give it anything to watch football tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's the curse of Survivor Series, in my opinion, in that it's like there's no title matches and none of the results matter. Like before it even starts, it's like what can possibly matter on this show? Mm-hmm. Seventy nine minutes of this show were. Entrances, video packages, commercials, and a bunch of stupid skits involving Vince McMahon and a fucking golden egg. Put your other screen down and actually pay attention and watch how much of a cluster this thing is. What thing? The pay-per-view. I was watching the pay-per-view. No, Brian, why don't you listen when I'm talking? What are you talking about? The thing with improv is you have to listen. I don't listen. I know. Got too much to be angry about. They were aggressive. They did not work it like it was a shoot. Mm-hmm. They did try to work it like they weren't cooperating at points. Like at one at one point, Becky goes to climb all the top rope. To, all matches are supposed know, to look like it's uncooperative. They do, but they don't. You know what I mean? This should have been titled the Indie Battle Royal because everyone were in T-shirts and they were paid in pizza. And I kid you not, I got to the building, and as I was walking in the back, Glenn, Max, stop digging and make a noise. And there's two teams, and those two teams go against the other teams, and then they whittle, they they whittle each. <laughs> what is this fucking dog doing, Lance? <laughs> He's whacking his tail by the wall. I hear that. <laughs> is he building a house? Is he building a yeah. dog house? McAfee did not have a good night, and I'm a fan no. of, of Pat McAfee. I am not. I got to hang out with some friends I hadn't seen in a long time. Uh, if Pat McAfee was part of that group, I'm sure by the end of the evening, I would have been up in his face telling him to shut the F up. Oh, wow. Reg. And he goes, you know how much he's worth? It's worth a hundred million dollars. And Roman Reigns says, ah, just like my next contract. And he stands up and he walks out and Vince goes, ah, and then all of a sudden Vince gets a weird look on his face. Like he's thinking, Tony Khan got $100 million. Of course, everyone sat there when the match ended because they were waiting for something. The egg. Is, is yeah, is the, the gobbledygooker going to come out? Is the rock going to show up? What happened was nothing. They, they, the show ended, and then everyone was stuck in the parking garage for three hours afterwards. <laughs> Today, instead of questions, give us your best Thanksgiving recipe. We're just going to read recipes on the air here for uh, 10 minutes. Is that <laughs> until, actually what we're going to do? Until you tell me to stop. Open beer and drink it. Repeat as needed. That's not a recipe. Two cups of brown sugar, a cup and a half of maple syrup, three quarters. I don't think this is low carb. Three quarters cup of soy sauce, five garlic cloves, six bay leaves, and a partridge and a (laughs) pear. What's the opposite of keto? Lantian just says Jack Daniels. Man, we got some alcoholics. Becky and Charlotte. What do you think of Charlotte, Granny? She's my second hated. Mm. <laughs> Reigns is first. Why do you hate Reigns so much? I, I just think, I don't know, I just want to see him get beat. Big E reversing an Irish ship to send Reigns. An <laughs> Irish <laughs> ship? Reversing an Irish ship? <laughs> wow. Well, Back to Ireland with you. I was going to say. What that ship it? didn't get too far. Irish what? Whip. Whip. Oh, okay. I, I just it, spelled it wrong. Reversing an Irish ship to send rains. Into so it was a ship. Rain step. Was it a ship or not? Whip. Whip. <laughs> Got it. Darby Allen versus Billy Gunn. Like you know how they used to say like uh, Billy is deceptively large. Yes. It's right. no longer deception. No. <laughs> he's it's actually obvious. large. And he's in there with Darby. This match was all right. There was a lot of sloppiness. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of editing. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I felt like somehow they made it work, whether it was the women involved or the editing team or both. I don't know if Kyle O'Reilly is leaving WWE, but if Kyle O'Reilly leaves WWE, then him and Bobby Fish reuniting and their baby faces and they're going up against the elite and you can do like all sorts of great matches for months on end with with various combinations of those guys then adam cole can leave the elite and he reunites with the former undisputed they're now a three man baby face team then they can do all sorts of great matches so maybe they're 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 planting seeds 
that uh, you don't know what flower is going to bloom, but there are many opportunities, many options.